we came toward shore, Mayor Silvestre Perez invited us to his little town, Isabalito, and he brought many things to show us what they had found in town. Just inshore, in 10 centimeters of water, where the little kids were playing, we snorkeled, and in our snorkeling we found little pieces of china. They're just pieces. The back of the saucer, Edward Clark, Longport, England. Was it an English ship? Do we know it was an English ship? We can't be sure. Just from the bits and pieces of China. Because mariners traded in those days just as they trade today. As we swam in shore, we found things, little things. This is black glass. This is a piece of glass that tells me that this bottle was made in the 1600s. You see the neck? This neck was fastened to the glass all by hand. So we know that there were colonial settlers in Isobalito, the little village down the beach, as early as the 1600s. The Spanish enslaved the people of these Americas as soon as they came here. They were only interested in gold and silver. They had no other interest except the gold and silver that would fund the wars in Europe. There was very little gold and silver in Europe at the time. Each coin, stamped by hand, by native indigenous people that were enslaved by the Spaniards, with a die. La Cruz Latina, the Latin Cross, Hispaniarum Rex, Plus Ultra. All of those marks stamped on the coin with the date, with the marking, with the pillars of Hercules. So we know from this little coin, this tiny piece of history, that at one time the Spaniards were here and colonized this area of the lake.